Welcome everyone! In this video, we will see how you can use Data Snipper to perform an Accounts Receivable Cutoff Test. Cutoff testing is usually performed to validate if a transaction was included in the correct period, as per the balance sheet date. In the case of receivables, we'll be checking if the invoices and goods delivery notes align with the date of payment for the receivables which were paid after the year end. We'll use document matching to reconcile all of our supporting documentation, including the invoices, goods delivery notes, and bank statements showing records of payment. Then, for any items where payment is not yet received, we're going to reconcile the order proposal. We'll check if the dates of all items were correctly included or not. And finish by marking our conclusion to make it easy to review the work performed. In this Excel workbook, we have an accounts receivable cutoff sample as well as some formulas to help with our conclusions. As you can see, we have imported all the relevant documents and sorted them into separate folders for invoices, goods delivery notes, order proposals, and bank statements. Let's open document matching and start new document matching. As our sample data, let's select customer name, invoice number, order number, dates, and amounts. Next, we need to select the document folders corresponding to our checks, which are all four we had created for invoices, goods delivery notes, order proposal, and bank statement. In our input and output table, we'll set up our output location according to which output we need for our testing and where we need it. For example, customer name and order number are not inputs we need to match with our invoices, so we'll select No Output in the drop-down menu. We do need to match invoice number, date, and amounts. Therefore, we will configure the table to our desired output location. The same logic is to be applied when setting up the rest of the table in line with our testing process. Once fully configured to your liking, simply click on Match All Rows. We can now review the matches that Data Snipper has provided. I can also use Text Snip to extract extra information, such as the delivery and payment dates, as well as to confirm that the proposals were signed correctly. Manual snipping can also help to extract any unmatched amounts. To conclude, we'll go through each set of documents and check if it was correctly included or excluded from the accounts receivable listing. We'll use our pre-configured formulas to perform these checks and balances. For example, if a sample item was invoiced in 2021, received in 2021, and then paid in 2022, it's valid. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out our knowledge base to learn more. Happy snipping!